You. Yeah, you over here. Come here, I'm gonna pick you up. Come on. Let's get all picked up together, okay? I'm gonna keep this short and sweet. All right, depression comes in two flavors. One is a neurochemical imbalance in your brain. You feel bad because your brain is broken right now. There's nothing wrong with that. There's no judgment in what I'm saying. You should feel no shame about it, but you should go talk to a professional. Get the help you deserve, okay? Feel zero shame about it. If someone is sick with a cold, we don't shame them for having a cold. If they take medicine to feel better while they have that cold, we don't shame them for that, okay? So if you have some kind of neurochemical imbalance, go get help for it immediately, okay? It could save your life. Good luck, I wish you the best. Second flavor of depression, real simple. It's called my life sucks, all right? Your job sucks, your money situation sucks, your body isn't where you want it to be, your romance is nowhere around, whatever it is. You just don't have a life that you enjoy, right? That's understandable. Now, could these have some overlap, these two flavors? Absolutely. Uh, are you gonna feel bad all the time if all these situations in your life are bad as you perceive it or as others perceive it? I mean, no. That's, that's kind of like the Buddha philosophy, right? Dis uh, detachment from everything. You're not attached to the here and now. You find contentment in what you have, good or bad. Sure, I mean, that's great and dandy, but it doesn't fix the fact that uh, I have no money in my account and I'm fat as heck and no one will talk to me and my job sucks. And yeah, no, I, I'm with you. I'm with you there. <laughs> People can get online and books can have all this information in them and all that jazz, but you're not gonna listen to those people online. You're not gonna read those books because it all sucks anyway, right? Yeah, no, I, I get it. This is what you gotta do. You need to write down everything you dislike. And I don't care if it takes the whole journal, okay? You're gonna write down every little thing in your life that you don't enjoy. Simple as that, all right? For me, I had a few things. I was morbidly obese, okay? I did not like the way that I was presenting myself to the world. Uh, I didn't like getting up out of bed every morning because I couldn't move very well. I was almost two inches shorter <laughs> because I was just bogged down with that weight. I would never, ever take my shirt off in public. Ever, ever, ever. And it made me feel horrible, always. It was just, this is just one little thing. I'm not saying like that was the root cause of all my problems. It was just one thing. And I wrote that down on, on a list. I just wrote, I'm tired of being fat. <laughs> After you write down everything you dislike about your life, you're going to just brainstorm some solutions. They can be as wacky as you want. I chose cardio. That solved that problem. Okay. But it could be any list of things. If you don't make enough money, you're gonna write down a bunch of brainstorming ideas for how to make more money. Maybe it's a new job. Maybe it's some other things, who knows? But you're writing down some kind of actionable path that you can go down so that you can start eliminating that list of terrible stuff in your life. That will help you move on from this depression that you're feeling, this flavor of depression as I'm describing it. Okay, now, if you do have a neurochemical imbalance, I mean, yeah, making your life better will make you feel a little better, hopefully, maybe. But the best thing you can possibly do is talk to a professional. Talk to a medical professional, talk to a psychologist, reach out to your friends and family. Hey, I need some help because I feel bad all the time. Please do that, by the way, okay? Whether you have said imbalance or you just have a crappy life, just reach out. Maybe your community can help you. Maybe once you have that list of everything that sucks and anything you could possibly do to fix those things that suck. Maybe once you have that list, when you reach out to other people, they might also suggest solutions. They might want to help you with this. When I was losing a bunch of weight, my roommate wanted to come work out with me. He thought it was inspiring. Every day I was up trying to better myself on just that one little thing. I use that as an example because it's really tangible to people, especially here in the U.S. We're so obsessed with physical image of things, right? He, he just wanted to join me. And now I have an accountability buddy. Now I have someone who kind of keeps me on the straight and narrow path to reach the goal of eliminating that crappy thing I had on the list, okay? And that was just something that bothered me, okay? You live your less, best life, okay? Do, do whatever makes you happy. Maybe you like being a little heavier, great. But uh, I didn't, and I wanted to change it. And so I did. And now, 
that doesn't bother me anymore. Could help. I'm not giving the advice of like, hey, just feel better, pull yourself out of it. Uh, no, that's kind of what I'm saying. But I'm saying do that through action. Do that through progressing towards fixing the broken thing. It's like if your car broke down, you know, you got to repair the engine or you got to hire someone to repair it for you. You've got to get the car moving again. <laughs> You've got to do something that changes the circumstances around you. And then you'll slowly progress towards feeling better. And yet again, I'm going to come back to this point. If you're not feeling better, if it doesn't help, please speak to a professional. Get the help you deserve, okay? This is no joke. Depression takes lives. That's the best advice I can give to someone who's feeling down in the dumps all the time. Make sure your life doesn't suck. Take actions to fix it. Speak to a professional because it might be medically related. Other than that, I wish you all the best. And I please ask everyone in the audience, please take care of yourself. Okay? Thank you for watching. Have a great day.